Welcome back. So as I'm going through the oversized slabs in the collection, I figured I'd go over these three players that I also collect in addition to the primary PC of Hank Greenberg. For these guys, there's not as much available as with Greenberg, but so far I've been able to grab a number of things um, that are available in the market of the few things that were produced. So we're going to start, we're going to go left to right, starting with Al Rosen. So all these are a recent pickup, the 53 red man and a five and a half. Put them off the side over here. You have the 54 red man, red man and a four. Again, these are very hard to find in decent shape because of the odd size of these. I have the 55 red man yellow. We have this one in a four, a five, and a five and a half. 55 obviously is the easiest to find and the cheapest. And we have a nice signed postcard, a PSA authentication on it. And it is dated 1956, basically as he was wrapping up his career. We actually have two of these. We have 63 Kitav hand cut. We have one an 8 and one a 9. And a 9. Basically, get above an 8, you're going to have to have some sort of, of the cutout line available in the photo. And then the $5 auto pickup, 2010 Historic Autographs, Hall of Fame All-Star Edition, 18 of 31, Al Rosen. The early days, the first year of Historic Autographs products. Next up, we actually have some Morris Arnovich slabs. Starting off, we have a little cut, uh, JSA certified and a PSA slab. Arnovich newspaper autograph. Another newspaper auto of Arnovich in a Phillies uniform. So both of these are Phillies uniforms. So that dates them 39 and earlier. We have an oversized cut, really cut, and a tiny little cut. So Arnovich, because he died so young, his autos are very hard to find. And finally, we have Moberg. You've seen all the cards that have been made of him, that I have. And now here's some of the oversized items. Starting off, 1929 Cashin Publications. This is in a SGC 4.5. These with the Chicago White Sox. These can go for quite a bit of money. I was lucky to get this at a steep discount at an auction. Next up, one of my favorite pieces um, in my entire collection of all players. And that is a 1934 Tour of Japan postcard. Japanese and American All-Stars. These have really kind of jumped up in price. I don't think I'm ever going to get another one based on the prices that is on the market right now. Um, but this is you know, all the stars, or not all the stars, but a lot of the stars of the time in Major League Baseball, Babe Ruth, Jimmy Fox, Lou Gehrig, Charlie Geringer, just the list goes on and on. And of all the, the all-stars, quote-unquote, you have Mo Berg in there. And as I've told the story many times, I'll do the quick overview. Um, it was during this trip, legend has it, that Mo Berg went to the top of the tallest building available to him in Tokyo and t recorded the skyline with a video camera that he had with him. 
and it was that video they turned over to the OSS after his plane days and they used it as intel on the Tokyo skyline and determined bombing runs so we have that in a four and a really crisp example in a five if you see one of these it is just absolutely great piece of history to hold in your hand um, so if you find one at a good price, I highly recommend picking one up. Um, especially with how prices have been on these. Next up, we have a 1936 National Chickle Moberg in an SGC3. And I am perfectly happy with that. And then finally, we have a nice little collection of checks. I have a total of five checks from Moberg made out to Princeton University, cash, a couple of or three different people. Um, I've just been very lucky in picking a lot of these up. Um, and I also have been able to pick up a little cut signature recently with a JSA letter. So, Moberg signatures are not cheap. Um, so when I can find them at a good price, what I think is a good price, I will generally pick them up. Um, and if I can find them at a discount, even better. Um, yeah, his, prices of his autos, especially with you know the movies and the legend that surrounds him, it's very very difficult to find stuff at a reasonable price when it comes to Berg autos. So I have a total of seven autos of Moberg. So I'm very lucky there um, just to be able to find a lot of the stuff. And I've been able to have find all the premiums and um, cards that were made of him. Um, so far I've been lucky with Arnovich. I have all the regular size cards of the time. Still a couple premium, one or two premiums I'm missing. Um, with Rosen, it's a work in progress, but I have a lot of the cards um, and a lot of the oversized stuff, but it's still a work in progress. So a lot of these, I'm trying to find pieces here and there. Generally, Arnovich, if I find stuff at a good price, especially slabbed, authenticated, what have you. Uh, I've been picking it up pretty regularly, um, but again, it has to be the right price. Um, same with Berg. Rosen is, you know, really has to be a good deal. Um, there's so much stuff out there with Rosen um, that if you just wait, uh, you'll eventually find more and more things that you can purchase and you'd be broke by the time you bought everything. So that's the update on kind of the other PC players still got some more oversized stuff to go over but I don't want a massive video I want smaller chunks um, but that's the update on the oversized slabs for Rosen for Arnovich and for Moberg so that's what I got for you this time around and until next time please remember to collect what you enjoy enjoy what you collect and don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating. Whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS for local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.